Good evening, my name is Amber um, of Everyday uh, Yoga. I'm with Amber and I'm here to share uh, another class with you. This will be a nice little all levels uh, mixed flow, so it should be pretty nice. Um, we're gonna primarily work on, I don't think today's class really has a specific focus. Um, it'll be about noticing, kind of um, slowing down in some postures and just kind of taking that inventory of how it feels, where you feel, um, and then even this idea of comparing um, two-sided poses um, to one another. So thinking about the left side and how it feels and then comparing it to the right side. Um, and not necessarily trying to make them even or anything, but just the idea of just noticing um, and then kind of inviting ways that we can make some changes um, based on what it is that we're noticing. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, I like to start on the back, so if you prefer to go there, you're more than welcome. Um, if you would prefer to stay in a more seated place with maybe your legs crossed or maybe even seated onto a block or two, you're more than welcome to do so. Once you find a place that feels good for you, whether it's on your back or even on um, your butt, sit it up, seat it up. You're also more than welcome to be standing if that feels good or even lay onto your belly. And just decide where and what position really would feel good, feel comfortable for you. And then once you get to that place, make any little adjustments or movements that you might need um, to kind of do away with any little extra tension you might be feeling. And you can wiggle your toes, relax them down a little, relax your fingers. And just take the first few moments of class here, just noticing your breath. Just taking notice of each inhale and each exhale as it occurs. Not really trying to change anything, but still understanding that this sense of awareness, this newly found awareness towards the breath um, does create a little um, deepening. Notice the pauses, if you have any, in between your inhales and your exhales. And just notice the areas which come in contact with the mat and or the floor or the surface of what you happen to be on today. Feel free to adjust at any point in time, but still keep that breath in the forefront, really focusing and really just noticing. Once you feel familiar with your breath today, maybe placing the hands onto the belly, maybe one on towards the chest. If you happen to be on the belly, maybe just bringing your arms out to the side or keeping them where they are now. Once the hand is on the belly and the chest, just begin to notice what it feels like to have the hands on this area. What sensations arise. And just notice the heaviness of the hand. Notice the same within the chest and the belly here. And then start to allow those inhales to move the chest and belly in towards the hands. And then as you exhale, feel the belly and the chest come away from the hands, but the hands still feel nice and grounded onto the body. Each inhale presses the chest and the belly in towards the hands. And each exhale reverses that direction, drawing the chest and belly down and in. Another nice breath or two here, maybe even releasing the hands down by the side, feeling less restriction on the chest and belly, and each inhale really reaching out and up. Each exhale drawing down and in. And of course, regardless of where you are, just take a moment open the eyes if they happen to be closed. And maybe 
just wiggle out the fingers, rotate through your wrist, just notice how this feels. If you happen to be on your back, you may draw your knees in towards your chest, maybe begin to rock side to side. If you're seated, you can even just begin to rock yourself right to left, left to right, even front to back if that feels good. Maybe you happen to be on your belly, just press into your hands, come on all, to all fours, sway the hips from side to side. So just understanding whether you're seated and you're maybe rocking side to side, whether you're on your back with your knees towards your chest or maybe even feet planted and then allowing yourself to rock side to side. And then pushing yourself into all fours if you happen to be on your belly and even allowing your hips to sway from side to side there. Eventually, we're all gonna come to a nice seated position on our mat. Go ahead and have it so that you're sitting back onto your heels. Your toes can be tucked or the tops of the feet can be flat. If you need to take your knees out a little bit wider, that's also a great um, option for you too. And from here, what I'd like you to do is bring your hands towards your hips and I want you to think about this nice slight engagement through your core. So I want you to take a big inhale, allow the belly to relax out. And as you inhale, draw the belly in and notice the strength. And I want you to inhale and exhale one more time here. And exhale. Keeping that slight engagement notice here. And inhale once again. And exhale. All right, one more inhale. And then as you exhale with your core engaged, I want you to lift the hips up, butt up, and bring the hips forward. Tighten your glutes. Inhale, relax up. Hands can stay here, hands can come out. Exhale, bring yourself up. Inhale, we're lifting back. Exhale, drive the hips forward. Not a fast movement here, then squeeze the glutes, each cheek right and left. And then I want you to go ahead and do that one more time. Coming all the way up, bring the arms all the way up, chest lifts, gaze can go towards where the wall and ceiling meet, or maybe even up towards the sky, towards the ceiling. And hands to the heart with control, bringing yourself back down. Nice and strong here. So you have the option to stay um, facing the front of your mat, or if you'd like to, you can turn so you're facing the long edge of your mat. We're gonna stay um, seated in the same position that we were before, knowing that you can take your knees out a little bit wider if that feels good. And we're gonna create a little bit of restriction um, towards the belly. So it's kind of might be uncomfortable for um, some of us. I know it's a little uncomfortable for me. And just bringing your forearms down. Always, of course, if you like to bring the arms out nice and long, maybe draw the forehead down. So kind of just whatever feels good. Allow your chin to draw in towards your chest. Maybe your butt is lifted off the heels just a little bit, more pressure into the arms, and that's perfectly okay. And just gradually press, whether it's into the hands or the forearms, and allow your hips and glutes to sink back. I'll switch to the direction of um, where I am just to get a better understanding of what we're doing here. So knees can be as close together as feels comfortable, but knowing they don't have to be touching. Coming down onto your forearms, or of course, if you'd like to, you can extend the arms out and draw the chin in towards the chest. Just nice breath here. Notice how it feels. And again, like I said, a little restriction of the belly, likely feeling the thighs pressed against. And then I want you to start to walk your right hand over towards the right side of your mat and then allow your left hand to reach over. So it might not go exactly towards the right hand and that's okay. And then from there, I'd like you to walk your hands back towards the center. This time the left hand is gonna go over towards the left side of the mat and the right hand is going to follow. So you should feel a nice stretch throughout this rib cage there. Come back towards the center and right hand over towards the right, left hand. Now follow me here. We're gonna lift the left hand and the left foot's going to extend out into a modified side plank. And then we're gonna bring our left foot back in, our left hand down, walk the hands over towards the center and left hand walks over followed by the right. The right arm lifts, the left leg extends, nice modified side plank. And we're gonna flow that a few times. So it can be a little confusing. I know it was for me when I first saw it. Knee down, right hand down, 
walk the hands towards the center and continue them over towards the opposite side. Modified side plank with your right hand planted, left leg extended, and left arm extending up. Notice how you feel here before transitioning. Knees down by one another. Hands come back to one another. Reach them towards the center. Reach them over towards the left side. Left side modified side plank. And just continuing this a few times. Go as fast or as slow as I'm cueing. It might feel better to move a little faster. It might feel better to kind of hang in one spot a little longer option once you come into your side plank to maybe even lift that extended leg notice how that feels any sensation that it brings towards the body and like i said noticing from side to side any different sensations any different feelings Anything your body's communicating to you that might, um, you might notice, might be different from left to right. All right, even out, no rush, take your time. We're going to meet back in that more like child's um, pose. And this time bring the hands behind you. Palms facing up, chin in towards the chest. Head may be lifted or forehead may be down. Try to breathe. And one more. Hands slowly come out in front underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and push yourselves all the way up. You're going to go ahead and turn onto your mat. Facing back towards the front of your mat here, coming onto all fours, slowly starting to flow through a few cat and cows. Your next inhale can draw your belly down as your hips and shoulders lift, gaze can go forward. And then as you exhale, you can reach the spine towards the ceiling, towards the sky, even add a little wiggle right to left, and then go ahead, come back into that cow pose. So you can continue to do this, know that your toes can be tucked or stay flat. And play around with the option for the hands. Maybe take the hands a little bit wider. Maybe bring the hands in a little bit closer. And just notice how this feels. And can you match the breath? Can you notice the breath? And I'm going to untuck your toes. Walk your hands back. Bring your hands towards your hips. We're going to do that nice big inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to lift the hips, squeeze the glutes, hold, nice and strong. Left foot's going to step forward, tuck your right toes. As you go ahead, engage through the lower body and stand up, mountain pose, towards the front of your mat. Take a moment here, paddle the feet, um, even taking the toes, flipping them, bringing them onto the top of the mat, and rocking side to side. So just whatever feels good for you here, rotate through those ankles. Once you find a nice mountain pose, feet can be about hip width if you'd like to have your big toes together, um, which is kind of more, I guess, traditionally um, known in yoga, you're more than welcome to do so. Nice and tall, keep the chest nice and lifted, arms down by the side as the palms face forward. Slight bend in the elbows, slight activation, shoulder blades together and slightly down. Big inhale, raise the arms up. Palms forward, cactus the arms, exhale couple times here. Inhale, lift, and exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift, fingers spread wide, and exhale, cactus, hold. Slight engagement through the core. Continue with the breath, but keep the hips forward. Take the right elbow, bring it out towards the front. Left elbow goes back. So a nice twist here. Think about your hips. See if you can shine them forward towards the front of the mat. Come back to center, cactus arms. And again, that idea of noticing where your hips are, and can you bring your left elbow forward, your right elbow back, but still keeping your hips facing towards the front. So you might even lean the left hip back, noticing how the right hip goes forward. Come back to center. Inhale, lift. 
and exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands down, step the feet out. Big inhale once again as the arms reach up. And then exhale, I want you to come down about halfway. Inhale, lift nice and tall. And exhale about halfway. So draw your knees out. You might even widen the stance if that feels good. And all the way up. So we're not as quiet in a goddess or horse pose. We're not going all the way down to our squat, but we're still firing up the legs a little bit. We're noticing how it feels to engage the thighs. How does it feel to engage the glutes? Can you relax into your toes, but still feel the strength as you press and ground down, leading the chest, the fingers, the hands up. But I want you to go ahead one more time. Inhale, lift, set the feet in. Exhale, prepare for your chair pose. I'm gonna turn sideways here. So again, kind of like that mountain pose, your feet can be together, your feet can be about hip width, whatever feels good. And then I want you to bring a, your arms out extended. So pinkies are gonna turn in, palms are gonna be facing in towards one another. And not necessary to come into your fullest expression of chair in terms of how low you sink down, but know that the option is always yours. If this is maybe gonna be your most strenuous uh, practice or workout today, you might take it a little further. If you're just trying to notice, just notice the strength. Notice what happens when you're in your chair. Maybe you don't come all the way into it. Nice and strong. Take your right arm, reach it back. Reach the right arm back a little more. Inhale, right arm forward. Exhale, left arm back. A few times here, nice and slow. So the right arm back, left arm forward, and then hold for a moment. Full force with you to the other side. So maybe it's about a breath. Focal point is outward moving and down. And then bring both arms behind you, palms facing in. Hug the arms in closer towards one another. Lift arms up a little bit more. Hug them in a little more. Sink down, hips and glutes. Inhale, lift tall. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a moment. deep squat here knowing that you can use um, a block um, anything next to you maybe you've got a couch or bed or chair anything household item that you'd like to use I want you to hands to the hips or hands to the heart I want you to feel this nice control throughout the body as you then ground into your feet bend your knees draw them out and lower all the way down to your deep squat knowing that you can place a block here hand can be placed onto an object hands can even be placed onto the Nice and strong here, driving through the feet and engaging throughout the body. So think about that backside of the legs. Think about the glutes, drive through the heels and come all the way up. Inhale, exhale, deep squat. Inhale, tall. Exhale, deep squat. Inhale, tall. Arms pressing into the legs, palms together. From here, down dog, take your time. You might have to walk your hands forward, step your feet back, or it will just depend on where you are on your mat. And just creating that upside down V shape here. I like to have my hands and feet a nice good distance apart, but feel free to kind of make that shape or that of your own. Maybe you pedal the feet or rock the hips. Maybe feeling a little warm. Maybe noticing the heels down a little bit more than they normally are. And just nod your head yes or shake your head no. We're gonna begin a nice down dog to plank flow. Let's take your time. Each inhale will bring you forward, allowing your knees to come up or down. And each
each exhale will bring you back into your downward facing dog. Nice and controlled, each inhale will bring you forward, knowing that knees can be up or down. Keep a slight bend in your elbows. And exhale back into your downward facing dog. Two more times, each inhale forward, feeling length through the body, and strength and stability throughout the core. Each exhale, feeling the length throughout the back, drawing the chin in towards the chest. I want you to go ahead and come forward to your plank one more time. Breathe, knees up or down. And lower all the way down. Nice and strong here. Walk your hands out right and left. Wing your arms out just a little bit. And then when you're ready, inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower down. Walk your hands out a little bit more. Inhale, lift your chest. And exhale, lower down. A little bit more, walk them out. When you're ready, inhale, lift. And exhale, relax. Move your hands back into that first position. Tuck your toes. Lift up for your plank knee, up or down. And into your downward facing dog. Pedaling your feet, rocking your hips, just deciding what feels good for you. I'm not going to change the direction, or I'm not going to encourage you guys to change the direction that you are on your mat just because we've done this move before, but feel free if you're like, no, 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 that doesn't work for me. Um, because, of course, I'm not in your space or in your body, so I don't know necessarily what's best for you, but I'm just gonna do this in terms of what I think might be easiest. So bring your knees down. Untuck those toes, sit back onto your heels. Your arms can be released out in front or hands towards your hips, or if you even want it, fingertips to the back of the head. So you're gonna inhale and then exhale, notice that engagement, that strength created throughout the core, and that's kind of what you wanna feel, but keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Inhale back down. Exhale, lift up. Tighten those glutes. Inhale back down. And exhale, come back up. Two more times. Inhale back down. And exhale back up. Last one down. And up. Down. Bring your hands down, adjusting your knees, bringing your forearms down onto the mat in front of your legs, or extending your arms out nice and long, forehead towards the mat. It may or may not be touching. Notice how this feels, any restriction against the belly, against the breath, any sensation, just allow yourself to notice. We're going back into that side plank little flow here. So left hand over to the left. So you're likely off of your mat onto your floor or whatever the surface is underneath your mat. Right arm out to the side. You're coming into that side plank. So you're going to press into the left hand. The right arm lifts. The right leg extends out. So again, left hands off the mat. Your right leg's likely off the mat. If you're not cool with it, just switch so that you're on the long edge of your mat. All right, right knee in, right arm down. Walk the hands towards the center and then over towards the right, where you then extend the left leg and left arm. So if you kind of know what you're doing, go ahead, go without me. I know I'm breaking it down a lot. If you're like, no, keep breaking it down, I'm going to, and just go ahead and follow me. Back to the center before you go over towards the right, nope, the left, and then extending through the right side of the body. So the right hand, the right leg. And then of course, you can come back, center, over towards the right as the left side, arm extends, left leg. One or two more times, maybe on each side as that last one or two, you maybe extend your leg out. You might even grab a hold of the ankle or you might even flow touching the heel. Before doing the same thing, if it feels good, on the other side. So again, it can be that hold and that stretch if that feels good. It can simply be a tapping of the fingers onto the foot. It could be the heel, it could be the ankle. And then when you're ready, 
Come back to the center. Allow the hands to release behind you. Of course, unless that doesn't feel good, keep those hands right out in front and breathe. From here, if you happen to have turned to the long edge of your mat, I'm just gonna have you switch heels, butt towards one another, sitting nice and um, strong and tall. Hands can come to the hips, to the back of the head, or wherever feels good. Inhale, exhale. Inhale once again. Exhale, lift, hold, squeeze the glutes, hips forward. Hands can come down, right foot steps forward. Tuck the left toes and step forward, mountain pose. Take a moment, rotate through your ankles, rotate through your wrist. Relax the toes, relax the fingers, maybe you need to pull up your pants or adjust your hair, whatever it is. Although it's virtual, so maybe you don't have pants on. <laughs> Super inappropriate, I know. All right, whenever you're ready. All right, I'm facing towards y'all, but you can always stay facing towards the front, depending on where your mat is. Big inhale, lift up. Palms forward, cactus or goalpost arms, elbows draw in. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, cactus. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, cactus. Hold, lead with the right elbow as you keep the right hip where it is. Left elbow goes back. Draw your left hip forward. And just notice how that feels. Can you soften into both of your knees? Do you feel equal weight between left and right foot? Any sensations throughout the back? Whenever you're ready, bring yourself back to center. And when you're ready from there, left elbow is gonna draw forward, right elbow gradually goes back. Take the left hip, draw it back, so the right hip draws forward. So a lot of right, left, back, front, side to side. <laughs> and just the idea that the shins are forward, the shins and the hips are forward. Come back to center, inhale, lift, and exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Nice and strong. Press into the hands, fingertips, pressing into one another, softening of the knees, feeling the thumbs onto the chest, regaining that self-awareness, that relationship with the breath. option if you'd like to step out to the long edge of your mat coming into more of a goddess pose so before we kind of came out to where we were almost going to go down into a deep squat but then we only went about halfway down just to kind of notice and bring in some feeling for those legs so if you'd like you can always go back to that if not we can go into a more wider stance pose um, also known as our goddess sometimes it's called horse too and the idea is to draw the heels closer to the edge of the mat and your toes are going to be pointing out front and back of the mat and then you can bring your hands onto your shoulders, and I just kind of want you to use your hands gently to kind of track your shoulders back a little bit. So it kind of lifts your chest a little bit, and then I want you to kind of cat your low back. So engage your core a little, and it kind of feels a little interesting because you start to engage some things um, that maybe weren't engaged. So then I want you to bend your knees a little bit more, hands can be on the thighs, or arms can be out to the side, palms facing up or down. And from here, you're just gonna inhale, straighten the legs, arms might come up, and then as you exhale, bend your knees, arms come down. Inhale, arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, arms down. Drive through the feet. Ground through the feet. Drive through the feet. And ground through the feet. Hold, nice and strong. Almost imagining you have like different sets of weights, or like a ball that weighs differently in your hand. And just kind of teeter-totter. Notice how that feels. Stand up tall, hands to the heart. Walk your feet in, take your time. And setting up for your chair, inhale, lift the arms. Keep the arms extended, pinkies turning in, and seat down into your chair. Once again, gonna turn out towards the side. Big toes can be together. Maybe you take this version of chair a little bit deeper, whatever that means for your practice, or maybe you go about just the same. Left arm is going to reach back. Lift the right arm up. Lift the left arm back. Switch. And again. And again. Both arms back. 
hug the arms in, lift the arms a little more, and hug them in a little more. Beautiful. Inhale, stand tall. And then exhale, hands to the heart. Roll your shoulders up and back, back and forward. Option to take this next pose with your eyes open or closed or even playing around between the two. As we come into our tree, starting with the left foot, slight bend in the knee, feel the engagement throughout the left side before allowing your right leg to become light and maybe allowing the heel to rest onto the ankle. Variation of tree is your choice, allowing your leg to rest somewhere, your foot somewhere along the leg in a place that doesn't cause any painful sensation. Arm placement of your choice. And just feeling grounded and stable, allow yourself to breathe. The pose doesn't necessarily end. If the foot hits the floor, feel free to regain your awareness and then bring yourself back. But knowing that if you decide to bring your foot down, Keep it down, maybe hands to the heart, that's the case. We're eventually gonna switch to the other side. Take your time. Maybe even rock side to side. Readjust the weight, adding a little bit more onto the right side each time. Holding a little bit longer each time. Until eventually, you create this nice sense of balance and the sturdiness, stability on that right side. Feel the strength draw up the right leg slight bend in the knee, and then bring that heel towards that right ankle. Option to stay right where you are, or to find a place for the foot along the leg that caused no pain, but still feels stable, and keeping the arms at a place that feels good for you. All in all, just allowing yourself to breathe freely in and freely out. stepping down when you're ready uh, rocking your weight from side to side inhaling when you're ready to mountain pose reach up arms down by the side exhale inhale lift and exhale release step the feet out toes pointed out big inhale reach the arms up palms can come together and then as you exhale engage your glutes feel some nice strength in your core and come all the way down to your so your deep squat. From there, we're gonna step into our downward facing dog. So just taking your way forward and back, allowing that shape to be created throughout your body. Upside down V, fingers spread nice and wide. Slight bend in your knees as you draw the heels back and the chin tucks in just ever so slightly. Nod the head yes or shake the head no. Maybe even widening the stance a little bit by walking your feet back. Next inhale brings you forward to your plank, knees up or down. Slight bend in your elbows and into your downward facing dog. Inhale forward to your plank, exhale, hold it. And inhale back. Exhale forward, hold, knees up or down, your choice. Before lowering all the way down. Walk the hands out just a little bit, wing out the arms, inhale, press into the hands, lifting up, lowering down. Walk the hands out a little bit more, press into the hands, fingers spread wide, inhale, lift. lower down. Walk the hands out one more time, wide the stance yet, fingers spread wide, when you're ready, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Hands back to where they were to begin with. Press up onto all fours. Shoulders stacked, hips stacked. Sway those hips from side to side. Turn your fingers pointing towards the long edges of your mat and even allow a nice little stretch here. Take your knees 
nice and wide. Big toes towards one another, but they don't necessarily have to touch. Extend your forearms out, villain through the elbows, sink your hips and glutes back, option to extend through the arms, draw the forehead as close down towards the mat as you can. You can always bend the elbows as the forearms stack on top of one another and rest your forehead there. Knowing you can come all the way down onto your belly with your legs extended behind you if that feels better. back onto all fours, pressing into the hand and into the knee, blowing a few pat and pals. And of course, bringing your legs up to the side. And we're going to bring ourselves into a butterfly type posture, but we're going to use our arms as a prop. I think I just did this not too long ago. I think I did, but I'm not real sure. Um, so arms are going to go underneath the legs. Your hands might be um, on gripping onto the shins. Your my hands might be gripping into the fronts of the knees, or your hands might even be gripping onto the thighs. Um, but the bottoms of the feet together, the heels can be as far away or as close as kind of feels good for you. And then from here, so you're going to think about the idea that when you have a prop underneath your leg, think about the weight or like the tension that prop is feeling from your body. So that's kind of what's going to feel like in your arms. So you're going to notice the legs reaching back onto the arms. And then if you notice, you might feel as if though you're kind of rounded, like your belly might be pushed in a little bit. And what I'd like for you to do is I want you to think about driving down through the tailbone, through the butt, kind of in a sense, and then lifting the chest but still keeping that tension of the legs press into the arms and the arms press into the legs. So you're kind of bringing your belly forward, almost like you're trying to arch your back in a sense. But then I want you to think about, so if you were gonna cat only your low back, so if you're thinking about cat pose, but instead of doing it in the upper part, just think about keeping it in the low part. So I know sometimes that seems a little confusing. Um, wording can be a little meh. And then from there, I want you to go ahead and release down. Your heels might push out or come a little bit forward. And then I want you to, without using the pressure of your hands, unless you want them onto your mat, other than that, I'd like for you to keep them here or maybe even onto the feet. And I want you to actively draw your knees down without the use of your hands. So not active. I don't know. It's kind of maybe be hard to a little bit to see. And then active, drawing the knees down. So you're going to feel a nice engagement through the backside. And then again, Hands can be anywhere, but just try to see what it feels like to activate this pose without the hands. And then of course, relax and then use the arms if you like, see how that feels. Left leg's gonna extend long. You're gonna cross the right leg over. It can also stay right at the side. So it doesn't have to cross over the thigh if it doesn't want to, or if you're not really feeling that today. Your right hand's gonna grab a hold of the right knee. I want you to reach your left arm back. Bring your left arm, grab the right knee, bring your right arm back. Maybe your right foot lifts, right hand forward, grab the knee, left arm back. Left arm forward, grab the knee, right arm back. One more time, right arm forward, left arm back. Left arm forward. forward, round, chin towards the chest, flex your left heel out, toes point in. Option if you wanted, you could cross, so right ankle, left knee, and then you could come forward, that feels good. Right leg is going to extend out, you're going to bend your left knee, it can stay on the inside, or if you'd like to cross it over the thigh, it can go on the outside. Nice and strong there, left arm is going to grab a hold of the leg as the right arm reaches back. Right arm reaches forward, grabs the leg as the left arm reaches back. Left arm reaches forward, grabs the leg, right arm reaches back. Right arm reaches forward, grabs the leg, left arm reaches back. 
One more time, take it as you need. Left arm forward, press the leg, right arm back. Right arm forward, left arm back. Last time, great. Both hands, grab a hold of the knee, flex through the right heel, toes point in, hinge forward just a little bit. Nothing super crazy either. And then whenever you're ready, you're gonna go ahead, bring your feet down onto the mat. Knees are bent. Fingers can point forward, out to the sides, or a little bit of both. Slight bend in your elbows. Whenever you're ready, big inhale. And exhale, lift yourself up. Maybe your glutes come up just a little bit. Maybe you only bring them up for just a moment and back down. Or maybe you come fully into your reverse table. Driving through the chest, lifting through the hips. Rocking forward, maybe rocking back. So real small rocks before coming down. Scooching forward, scooching back to allow yourself to come onto your backs. Rocking the legs from side to side, arms can release out to the sides, cactus or just to your simple T. Press down into the low back as you rock side to side. Different areas of it just to notice how that feels. Nice and strong. From here, I'd like you to place your feet onto the floor, lift your hips up lower them down, do that maybe one or two more times. So you don't have to go into a full bridge, but just allowing that up and down movement of the back, pressing into the feet. And then eventually I want you to come all the way down. Just the shoulder blades a little closer together if that feels good, or maybe even create some more space between them by pulling them apart. Relax into your toes and draw your knees out just a little. Start to breathe into your belly. Notice how much movement occurs as you inhale. Notice the movement as you exhale. And gently close the eyes. Relax the muscles of the face. And part the lips ever so slightly and allow the tongue to find a nice relaxing Breathe into the belly. And breathe out. Breathe into the belly. And breathe out. Continue here. nose and right back out. Feel the connection of your body onto the mat. Addressing and acknowledging any thoughts, sounds, And still focusing on the breath. Just like curl the fingers, almost feeling like the weighted rocks into the palms, giving yourself a little more sense of grounding. And removing those invisible rocks at any time. Continue here, allowing for just a few more moments, a few more cycles of breath.
inhale, breathe in and out through the nose. Soften the glutes, relax the back, feeling this sense of heaviness onto the floor. Five more full, deep inhales and exhales here. your exhales to be a little bit longer than your inhales. finishing up the last few rounds or you lost count or maybe you're done. Allow yourself to maybe open the eyes or even just tap each one of the fingers onto the tip of the thumb. Feeling the pressure of the thumb into each finger. Allowing it to awaken you. Maybe even once you go through those fingers, going right back in the opposite direction. Gradually inviting a little more movement, maybe by rotating the wrist or even by extending the legs long and reaching the arms back, full body stretch. Maybe your idea of creating more movement is hugging the knees in and beginning to rock side to side or even giving yourself that nice generous hug. Take your time in awakening the body and inviting in some thought or sound and still staying in this moment but just reintegrating ourselves after a nice final relaxation. You can roll to either side or choose any manner in which way you'd like to allow yourself to be seated. Seated position can be anything in which you choose knowing that you can add any movements, whether it's moving the shoulders or drawing the ears down towards each shoulder, noticing how that feels. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And turn the palms away from each other and exhale, release them down. Inhale, when you're ready, reaching up. And turn the palms away, exhale, down. One more time, big inhale up, palms together. Exhale, hands towards the heart as you gently bow your head and draw your thumbs in towards your chest. Forever thankful for having the opportunity and sharing in my practice and sharing in your practice, sharing together. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thanks again, appreciate it.